I created the best WNL streamer basketball team. See, when it comes to the WNL community, one of the main things that bring everybody together is the love competition. There's competition in games, and then there's the competition in sports, mainly one sport in particular, which is basketball. And we love the game of basketball. We know you go from five on five, street v threes, two on twos, and especially, especially the one v ones. It's just something so satisfying about seeing two people face to face, all hot and sweaty, just getting real, real intimate with one another you know what i'm saying <laughs> on the court on the court but to keep it short and simple as a fan supporter and member of the wl community i took the time to try to find every basketball video and or clip of people from the community and use my basketball knowledge to the best of my ability to construct the best wl streamer basketball team now i do want to inform y'all this is streamer first individuals carl anthony towns De'Aaron fox and the other nba players just don't count you feel what i'm saying d1 athletes top high school phenoms just don't count these got to be like stream first hoop second individuals now look i'm already knowing when y'all see these players that i chose and they overalls it's gonna be a lot of controversy but i promise y'all i'm right no matter what like 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 i'm not gonna lie to y'all like y'all opinions are really just like illogical you feel what i'm saying like i'm really like the most logical person like ever like i don't even know how to tell y'all like it just is what it is but at the end of the day this is all just for like fun and jokes so like if you really take any of this to heart go eat them up but without further ado let's see the team all right so starting off at 90 overall and yes i said 90 overall like i said remember it's just wl streamers in this list you feel what i'm saying so at 90 overall we got duke dennis i feel like i feel like it's very understandable very justifiable and just about every single game he's played he was very dominant probably the lead scorer main rebounder you know what I'm saying and solid skill set i feel like that's that's not crazy right now coming up behind duke at 89 overall we got your age it's a little tricky because his injury you know his knee injury pre-injury we seen little glimpses you know when that when he played uh lovers even though i know that was a casual they were just chilling they weren't doing too much but you can still see slight glimpses of, of Rage's game. Post-surgery, he beat Cash, even though it wasn't, you know, like it count you know what i'm saying like it wasn't it wasn't what what people really want for real but you know it, it counts and it's like he still beat him 3-0 the thing is it's not just about the wins or who you play because he also played greg i think he also beat silky and you can just see glimpses of like what he's capable of so we really just have to see what rage is at when he's 100 percent like i'm not gonna lie i'm not even hating or nothing like this right how he get demigod like i don't i didn't know that was a thing in 2k you feel what i'm saying like i ain't mad at it at all you know what i'm saying like i ain't no hater but i'm just saying i ain't that's, that's tough i ain't gonna lie you got that next up we got plaque boy max at 88 overall now some people may think he a little high some people may think he he should be a little higher but the thing is when, when it come to max is that he hasn't lost to nobody that i can recall like he beat connie ex-boyfriend aaron twice he beat tk twice beat davis like max he got some doves on his belt he beat jason weenie he beat flight i feel like in each game max showed what he's capable of this might be a little controversial itself but i think max is might be the most skilled basketball player just because he's the most skilled don't mean he necessarily the best can probably take over the game the best but I do think he's the most skilled. Now coming up right after Max, Scum TK at 87 overall. Now TK, he's also a very skilled individual. I seen, I, cause like I said, I try to find as much videos and clips as I can see. And it's also, this is also current. So like some stuff from like four years ago, it's a little hard to grade. Something like two years ago, it's a little, it's a little closer. So it's like, you kind of want to put it in. But I feel like TK show also glimpses of what he's really capable of. He might not show it all the time. He might not get the win every single time, but I still feel like TK is showed enough to prove that like you feel what i'm saying like he's really that good now also at 87 overall we got the john family now i feel like people be sleeping on john i feel like a lot of people really don't be like me thinking about john for real but john is really like 6-2 closer to 6-3 got a solid handle solid defense got a solid shot i feel like he's a solid player all around I'm not gonna lie to you now at 86 overall we got chris next door now i know i know look if this was prom chris he'd probably be like 91 90 are you feeling what i'm saying but this is current and chris is just not the best shooter his ball handling is amazing he can create Great space you feel what i'm saying nice passer amazing finisher at the rim and also chris just isn't as athletic as he was before which is okay chris is still a great player he's just not the best shooter he can get streaky sometimes but shooting the ball at a high level consistently i wouldn't bet on it now at 85 overall we got ray you feel what i'm saying now look ray i know ray started streaming like just this year but i feel like he got enough streams in though i feel like i feel like ray really didn't show it out and i feel like ray is really a part of the community for real for real and you know ray played on his high school team in the clips in the videos we've seen uh 
uh, he played, he was at the, on Kai stream at the prison. He showed uh, how good he is, actually. You can tell he, you tell he got a nice jump shot. He can shoot. Also, it's one of these people that I feel like we got to see a little bit more of because Ray could be higher. Now, 84 overall. We got k -Sign. Now, look, when it comes to k -Sign, I feel like it's another player that we just got to see more video clips of, more basketball videos because we know k -Sign can shoot a little bit. Well, I ain't going to say a little bit, but we know k -Sign can shoot. Um, I see videos of him play basketball. I feel like he has a decent handle, but when it comes to, like, defense, I'm just not too sure on it. Like I said, we just need to see more videos of him, more basketball videos of him. And also, k -Sign is kind of, kind of, he kind of on the skinnier side. So, it's like, when it comes to, like, getting past him, I don't think it's too difficult. I'm not going to lie. Now, also, at 84 overall, we got Janix. Now, look, on this team, you know, we had to get a big body. You feel what I'm saying? But when it comes to skill, I don't think Janix is the most skilled big man, you know? But he's definitely there. He definitely can be a factor. You feel what I'm saying? Get the board, play defense. You feel what I'm saying? This shot, I can't really trust it. But like I said, them boards in that defense, you know what I'm saying? We got you, though. You know what I'm saying? 84 overall. Now, also, at 84 overall, we got Dylan. You know what I'm saying? Dylan Patel. Shout out RDC. I think the most videos I could find was just the two games that when they play uh, AMP. One was like on the AMP road trip part two and other one was just the uh, AMP versus RDC basketball movie. And I feel like Dylan also showed glimpses of what he capable of. I still another person that I feel like they just need to show more. You know, we just need more videos, more more footage. But I feel like Dylan probably have a decent shot on him. Like, I feel like he got a, a decent hand. I feel like he can move pretty well. So we just got Dylan at 84 right now. Now at 83 overall, his RDC brother, Mark Phillips. Now I'm not gonna lie, Mark, I promise if you see this, I'm not hating on you, my boy. But let's just be completely honest. In the, in the, vid in the videos I've seen of you hooping, you, you ain't really got the best handle. It's Whoa! decent. It's all right. I don't think it's better than Dylan's. And I know you can shoot the three, but I just don't. I just, I'm just not seeing like, the, I'm not seeing the glimpses, of, the same glimpses I'm seeing the other people. I'm just not seeing them for real. Mark is definitely one of them people who, who say he's better than what he actually is. So it's all love though. All love to everybody on this list. But Mark, I feel like just need to see a little bit more. Now, next up at 83 overall, I feel like this is a pick that nobody seen. Nobody would have guessed, but I like it. We got Soul. The only footage I could find on Soul is like her in a 2v2 with John versus uh, Asian and Jalan. And also like her shooting in the background with the, with on a Rage clip, Rage IG story clip versus Silky. That's like the only thing I could find. But I truly do believe that Soul is a shooter. You feel what I'm saying? Like if you really want to go back and watch, I feel like Soul is a shooter. She probably got a decent handle, but it's like I said, it's another person that we just need to see more of. It's kind of hard to gauge when you ain't really got that much footage on people. Now at 80 overall, we got my boy Phantom. You feel what I'm saying? Now look, Phantom, I ain't gonna lie. Phantom, one of my personal favorites. Reason being, his game has so much potential to it. Like, I don't know why. Like, Phantom's really like a big point guard. Like, he has great passing. Passing that, like, I feel like people is low-key kind of sleep on. Because Phantom, he got the vision. I feel like he has a better handle than people realize. I know if he throwing out the sham guy and stuff like that, you know, he having a little hezzy. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing about Phantom that, like, he has a very inconsistent jump shot. Like, I'm not a believer in that jump shot. You feel what I'm saying? He can definitely make it, but it's just not the best jump shot. Last but not least, at 78 overall, we got Kai that. Now, look, I low-key feel like Kai could have probably slid up to the 80 as well and i know kai wasn't Dang. a good basketball player like at all you know but he's been training with chris oh, brickley God. ever since he's been training with chris brickley he's been locked in i can't really account for you know the shots made at, at practice because it's, it's practice we got to see like 1v1s and stuff like that but post chris brickley workouts he made the shot at cool kicks now me personally i know i just said it wasn't in the game this then the third but i feel like that's a very missable shot and for the fact that he's been training and made it on the first attempt i feel like it means something he also played in a select the all-star game he didn't get touches because they was hating but he still shot efficient now i know some people might be like oh if he shot more he probably would have missed more but i'm not a what if person i'm a person about what actually happened now when it comes to his handle i feel like he just need a little bit more training we also need to see uh more videos of him post chris brickley workouts um his shot definitely did get better but it's just one of the things where it's like you just you just need to see more of the improved version of kai and i know what y'all thinking y'all probably thinking like why is some people on this list they probably had other people in the community that could have been on here like why is Silky might not be on here. Why Why is Ben might not be on here? You know, he got the height and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I feel like everybody that's like an 84 and 84 overall and under is all interchangeable. I like I honestly don't think there's anybody in the community that I miss that might be like higher than Ray, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like everybody else in the community that I can think of at the top of my head is like around an 84 or under. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like everybody under Ray is kind of interchangeable. But from Ray, Chris, John, TK, Max, Rage, and Duke, I feel like that's the best line. Up, I'm not gonna lie. And Davis could have been on here, but Davis don't be streaming though. Cause Davis is also good. Davis would have been up here probably around the 87 mark too. Now this is what I feel like is the best lineup. I got Max at the one, Rage at the two, John at the three, Duke at the four, Janix at the five. Now look, Janix, of course, he had to be the big body in the paint. Now Duke, everybody know Duke hustle hard.
hard and he's very athletic. Duke gonna get them boards for surely. Obviously, he can be an offensive threat, a defensive threat as well, but he's definitely gonna get them boards. He's definitely gonna hustle. And that's how I feel like putting him, not necessarily in the paint, but putting him at the forward is a good decision. You know, raise the shooter, he had to be at the two. Now, if you really pay attention, it's really more like the, the big boy lineup. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody here besides Max is like like six two and up. You feel what I'm saying? John at the three. I feel like John is very solid. He has a very nice mid-range, good defense as well. You can't go wrong. And now this will leave TK at six man. I feel like TK at six man is a great idea. I feel like that's like Lou Will. You feel what I'm saying? TK come off the bench. He could cause TK can really facilitate as well. But if you get a TK that green light, oh yeah, he gonna shoot it. He gonna fire the ball up. So then you got TK with Chris. Everybody else fall in place. I feel like that's a great team. I feel like that's that's endless dubs, if you ask me. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude my best WL streamer basketball team. Now, I would love to see y'all's. You feel what I'm saying? I would love to hear what y'all think about the team. I know the overalls could be, you know, they could probably go up one or two down. You feel what I'm saying? Because TE strong. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all like it up. In the comments, let me know what y'all think. What y'all think is the, the craziest overall. Who y'all think should be on the team? Who you think shouldn't be on the team? Appreciate y'all for watching.